Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another gameplay video for you. I haven't put out a gameplay in a while. In today's video, I'm going to be going over what I think are the five most important things when it comes to winning games in Madden. I'm doing this in a Draft Champions. This is the game mode that I prefer to play the most. Uh, in Draft Champions, it's really all about fundamentals because realistically, you don't have your favorite playbook. You don't have your favorite players. You don't have OP players. You don't really don't have to choose. You don't get to choose anything. You have nothing but disadvantages. So if you do these five things that i'm telling you it really won't matter what game mode you play what players you have what playbooks you have what money plays you have if you do these five things you should win games regardless because they're that important so if you want to see more videos like this let me know in the comment section of the like button i'll do that next other than that let's get right into it so moving into the gameplay first game i usually would recommend labbing your playbooks uh definitely on the offensive side but i want to have some fun so i just want to get out there and play uh very first play i see i see a, a, a single back wide deep trips not a play i'm familiar with but this stretch play looks amazing so this is going to be the first play that i pick i'm going to use this quite a bit just the setup just the way the formation looks to me just screams good play very first play i'm gonna go weak side which most people don't expect you can see my opponent right here the linebacker he just he what he wasn't expecting it he went to the left side he thought that i would be going where all the power was that's typically how people react next play i hit him with a little bit of a fake motion a little misdirection he's expecting to run once again then i go the opposite way i mean i'm the king of misdirections when it comes to motions and fake motions because i don't want my opponent picking out when i make a motion for an actual play like right here i wanted to hit the tight end but the second i see him press oh it's on no 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 it's not on who it's on all right so I had him with a laser beam right over the top of that. I mean, I really wanted to get more out of it, but you can't argue with a first down and a nice big chunk play. So we're in business. First and 10, hit him with another fake motion just so he doesn't expect a run play. Um, I'll take that. I mean, I'm not the best runner in the game. I'm typically a, a type of player that likes to bomb it around the field. But you got to change levels. You got to keep your opponent honest when it comes to running the ball. You don't want him to know where you're going with the ball. So a lot of this stuff looks like dinking and dunking, but in reality, I'm also setting up big plays. So on the very next play, I'm going to hit him with a screen. I'm not a screen player. I probably shouldn't have ran this. I, I thought maybe, you know, I wasn't even looking at the screen, to be honest with you. I was looking at the RB route, which is the same read as the previous play, uh, but I don't have the protection. So I get sacked. And that sack's going to be huge because it gets me to second and 21. A little bit of a mad BS nope. uh, messes with me on the next play. So third and 21. We need a big play. I'm looking at the smash because I'm still figuring out this playbook, but I just put out a play very similar to the smash out of the Saints playbook. It's a very good play. The, the, the route structure on this is a little bit different, so I'm hoping those little differences don't mess me over and completely change the play. It's little things like the A route there. I'm not sure if I should put the A route on a streak or not as I'm trying to figure this out. Should I leave him on that route? Because that's actually pretty good. Ultimately, though, I don't think that's a cover two, so I put him on a streak thinking if it's a cover three, it might help, and it doesn't matter at the end of the day. So I, I have plenty of space, but he jumps all over that. The safety, the corner, they were both all over that, nope. leaving me with a 56-yard field goal try, uh, which luckily I knock home. I didn't hit that perfect, but I knock it right through. Got to take the points in that scenario. I have no idea what my opponent's offense looks like so on the defensive side like i said i took this playbook because it has my favorite defense and i've been running the fs blitz one out of the 4-4 split quite a bit i mixed that in with the cover two invert in the same formation i'll show you the setup in a minute but all i really do in this particular formation is i pretty much just pinch the defensive line spread the linebackers that's pretty much all you have to do when you're running either play uh there's a few differences in the cover too but you're going to see i mean this is a pretty shut down defense he tries to run right up the middle doesn't get it this guy is a uh, no huddle machine throughout most of this game he's going to try to get some advantages with through that on the very next play you can see right here i make a mistake i accidentally i actually spread the defensive line which is not how i typically run this and now you can see there's holes so pinching the defensive line spreading the linebackers that's the way to go i switch over to the cover two version the only difference between that play and the cover two version is i'm typically going to want a hard flat uh these defensive or these outside linebackers so same setup safety still in the box like i said all i'm going to do pinch the defensive line spread the linebackers and then hard flat the linebackers so they play down to the box you can see right there he comes off the edge makes a big play so like i said that's mostly my run defense my opponent here is not going to run the ball against me too good uh, as you can see the setup here once again like i said hard flat in the outside he switches to a pass play and it doesn't really seem to matter even though i have the hard flats he's all over that and somehow he catches it gets a two-yard uh, completion which i can't understand so third and 11 i'm coming out in an all-out blitz anytime you have that opportunity you got to send the house he decides to go for it on fourth and 11 i'm not gonna lie i got lazy on the sticks i was envisioning an easy turnover 
over on down. Somehow, I accidentally made both defenders go for the ball. I must have, like, double-clicked something. And he basically just takes off and gets a super easy touchdown. Totally gets bailed out. I mean, at the end of the day, it's my mistake. You know, it is what it is. He goes for two in the very next play. Nope. He almost gets that also. So now I'm down. Uh, the feeling out process, I'm pretty much done with. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start bombing it up. So basically, we're already looking at that cover too once again. Just basically putting that streak outside. Once again, dotting up the outside. I'd like to get bigger plays, but you can't argue with the chunk plays. So next play, going to hit him with another fake motion. Try to hit him with an inside zone. Just run it once again just to keep him off. Because ultimately, the game plan is to hit him with some firepower. So the very next play, the mesh... Uh, the plan is to do the one play touchdown right up top. I'm going to go ahead and streak the RB route, motion out the uh, the corner route. That's all I really need to do to make this play work. Then we just got to split those safeties. Break yourself, fool! So we take the lead back, uh, which, you know, I'm always more comfortable playing with a lead, even if it's a slight lead. Uh, I just feel better about having a lead. It changes how you play. It changes how your opponent plays. You, you can always predict how your opponent's going to play based off of who has the lead. So since I have the lead now, I can play a little bit more cautious since he has to play a little bit more, um, you know, he has, to, he has to go for it a little bit more. So you're going to see him pass a little bit more, like right here. I think he's mostly a run-first player, but now he's running a hurry-up, and he's basically just trying to, to get the pass off. He's keeping that man coverage, mostly because he had success that one time so now he thinks he always will and he almost did there but I almost got a pick as well so it's to the point where I'm starting to catch up to it I'm gonna get to it eventually uh, and then the very next play here I was actually thinking about mixing up a little bit doing a user blitz gave me an easy slant that's all he's really doing he just hit me with stuff over the middle so eventually I'm gonna change the game plan but for the most part he's keeping me in a hurry up he's keeping me in this look uh, with a hurry up call so I really can't get out of it so here now he gets down inside the 10 finally gives me a chance to go back to the huddle I'm gonna come out out in the same looks that I was coming out in the run heavy defensive looks because he had no success with that really so coming out in the cover two invert one more time trying to sniff this out he hits me with something a little bit different and look at the play that clown he makes That Jadavion Clowney is a fucking animal. He just knocked him back like five yards. So the game plan, since he's been hitting me with a lot of stuff over the middle, I'm going to go ahead and show him a trick here. I'm going to use the cross three fire out of basically the dollar, the 146, doesn't really matter. All I'm going to do is I'm going to zone everybody. He's hitting me with slants and stuff over the middle. I'm going to flood the middle, take that away. This is a video that I made a long time ago. Basically just put everybody, just zone all linebackers, and it's to a point where there's going to be nothing over the middle. This is going to give him a hard time to score. He might get a field goal out of this but he is not going to score a passing touchdown the way that i'm flooding the middle he figures it out though very next play tries to hit me with an inside zone gets it to third and goal from the two tries to hurry up and do it again time out but I ain't doing that shit. I'm not going to let him just moonwalk into the end zone. So I call a timeout. Gives me an opportunity to come out something a little bit bigger. Uh, I'm expecting, as I see the look, I know he's only got two choices. He only got the, the choice of either trying to hit me with an inside zone because of where the running back's position, or it's probably going to be a pass play. So once again, I zone all linebackers, basically making it impossible to throw over the middle. Gotcha, and then we get a user pick. So fourth and goal. Had to force it anyway. It wouldn't have mattered. Uh, but you can see we're right back in business. So hitting him with that stretch play one more time, make the user miss right there doing a little bit more stick work than i probably have to i'm just so used to playing with uh, x factor players that's one of the things about this game mode there's no real x factor players um, that i can make plays with uh, but it's nice that's the only thing i miss about this particular game mode compared to regular game modes like mutton regs so on the offensive side once again just taking our time trying to set up a big play um, hopefully he doesn't see it coming very next play you can see right there that slight little motion that when i make the motion the linebacker jumps lets me know that this guy is going to chase that side of the field so I'm going to give myself a little check down. I know that he's going over there. He's going to leave the center of the field. Sure enough, he does. So I go ahead and I hit that running back on the little comeback. I'll take that easy 10 yards. I'll take that all game. Then very next play, we get a horrible throw here. I, I had space, but I'm just not used to Kirk Cousins. I mean, he takes a long time to throw the ball. He doesn't have great accuracy. I don't know what it is. So very next play, we're going to go for it on fourth and inches. Kind of a gutsy call considering. Give myself a little extra blocking. He's wide open in the flat here, but I don't trust that he could turn that corner. I just think that I would have got BS'd. So I play maker him up the field. Take off with the quarterback to get an easy first down then on the very next play we're giving the ball back and to me it looks like the exact same thing i thought he had a step but like i said i'm just not i don't know if i'm just not used to kirk cousins that's one of the things about this game mode you can sometimes get some suspect quarterbacks and suspects things in important areas but gotcha, bitch. on the very next play we get another pick and we're right back in business so 17 seconds left i have enough confidence that i can run one play and kick a field goal but that play took a little bit longer than i was expecting so now i'm on the crunch i gotta get a field goal selected and hope that i don't get too much of a runoff which i do <laughs> 
And sure enough, all that work was for nothing. So very next series, I'm pissed. I'm heated. I'm focused. You know what I'm saying? When I get angry, when, when stuff like that happens to me, I my, my focus kicks it up a notch. So my opponent who tries to run the ball one more time, I guess he thinks a lot of people think they can throw it right over the middle on this defense because it's so tight to the line. But sure enough, like I said, I mean, I'm just lurking this. Gotcha, bitch. Like I said, I wasn't playing around. I was mad. I didn't get them points. We're not going to let that happen this time, though. I'm still kind of messing around with these uh, with some of the plays on here, like this end around. You can see the linebacker chased. I knew he would chase based off of the fact that I ran that not too long ago uh, that he would remember that so uh then on third i mean i'm going back to this play i still have faith in it and uh, you know i just I, if i would have threw it right here it would have been a touchdown but sure enough i didn't because you know that's the thing about madden it's all about the little things all the all the timing and all the you know the the, the types of throws you can make if i if i'd have made a low pass there that would have been a touchdown if i threw it a little bit earlier would have been a touchdown so sure enough he gets the ball back and then boom he's breaking it for a big run uh luckily i get a shoestring tackle or else he'd have been gone completely. So now he's in a situation where, you know, he hasn't been able to score once he got into the red zone. This is really where... I don't know, defense takes place. I mean, you can move the ball in between the 20s, but if you can't punch it in inside the 20, it doesn't matter. It's all for not. I don't really care. I mean, you can kick a field goal right now. I'm still going to be in the lead. I'm still going to be in the driver's seat. But this is really where you earn your bread. I mean, you have to punch it in, and this guy doesn't seem to have the ability. So I'm setting the house. You can see right there. I mean, I give back half of it. No big deal. He can have that half. So fourth and 12, I'm pretty much in a situation that I know he has to get 12 yards. So I'm covering the tight side, but I see that's just a zig route. So I let that go. Gotcha, and bitch. sure enough, I get right over to the route that he wanted the only route that he gave himself that was actually a 12 yard route so it's not too hard to defend in these clutch situations when you know somebody needs 12 yards and they don't dial a play that has more than one 12 yard option so that guy really shot himself in the foot there very next series I'm gonna go ahead and run the ball a little bit like I said still kind of messing around with this playbook make a little extra juke there I mean I could have took the hole that was right in front of me but I knew there was gonna be more space outside there's definitely some great running formations in this playbook so very next play once again he presses Oh, it's on. No, no, no. It's not on. Ooh, it's on. All right. It isn't on. Nothing's on. It's off. It's on. And you can't press in the cover, too. So once again, we're going up top. He does have a step. But Kirk Cousins threw that shit out of bounds about five yards. But it's all good. So very next play. Break yourself, fool. With the tight end right through the cover two safeties and we're right back in business so we're inside the 10 and just like i said scoring inside the red zone is really the difference when it comes to winning and losing games so i have to punch this in third and goal as i come to the line of scrimmage i see there's a gap right where my running back would go if we had an inside zone so i switch to the audible and as i do that he must have saw something because he switches straight to man taking away that gap this is what the chess match is all about so i go right back to that original play knowing that i should have been to play and sure enough he audibles right back expecting thinking that he knows what i'm doing so he gives me that inside zone lane right back tries to come down with it and to come down with the safety into that gap but it's too late and i score the basically you know game winning touchdown so he's gonna have to beat my cover four now if he wants to get past me gotcha, bitch. and sure enough on the very next play he throws a pick so that's game he's gonna go he's gonna quit out in the fourth quarter uh, if you guys want to see more videos like this more gameplays like this do me a favor let me know in the comment section hit the like button because i definitely have more recorded uh and that's it other than that thanks for watching man my shit out Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.